More broadly, right. Cuban's point, and I'm sure he'll he'll accuse me of oversimplifying, but I think his general point was that equities at this point are a tool to trade or for yield, and that there's really no um, interest in equity owners in looking at true fundamentals. He thinks that may, might be an outdated uh, way of looking at, at that asset class. What do you think? Well, it, markets have always been a, a, a mix of uh, traders, people who care about price and what happens to price, and people who care about value. And you, each group needs the other. And so value investors need traders to provide liquidity. Traders need value investors to provide a sense of balance. And I think markets get into trouble when one group gets much too large. So Mark's point is, is right. This is a market driven by traders. On any given day, we try to explain what happens to the price of any stock. It's more to do with mood and momentum, and in the case of GameStop revenge, than it has to do with fundamentals. But there's an underlying reality that none of us can run away from, which is these are shares of companies, of businesses. And ultimately, if the numbers are not there, the earnings and the cash flows, perception alone can't keep the price at whatever you want it to be. So that is, I think, the, the reality we cannot lose sight of. So you don't think it's a matter of if you can't beat them, join them? Well, you can join them with the caveat, which is you know what you, you didn't need to know when to get off this elevator because momentum works until it doesn't. The people who make money on momentum are the people who can detect when momentum shifts. So if you want to be a trader, be a trader, but be aware of the fact that you've got to sense when the momentum is shifting. That's a very different game. If you're good at it, you can make a lot of money. But if you're not, I mean, you're going to get slaughtered. Oswath, I don't know if we're doing Mark Cuban justice here. My sense is not that he was just describing this moment, but that he was saying things have fundamentally changed and that some of those measures just don't matter anymore in a digitally driven economy. I disagreed with that and still do, d despite his arguments. It, it, it strikes me that a danger here is that we could be entering into a period like exotic mortgages, right, but for this decade, where there are people saying the rules are different now, let people borrow because the assets are only going up, flipping stocks like flipping houses. Um, I'm not for mm -hmm. infringing on people's personal freedoms to trade stocks, but I wonder about when you have these app platforms that are allowing free trades, encouraging trading on margin regardless of a trader's experience, encouraging options trading, is that a responsible system? You know what? I, I, I have serious concerns about restricting people from trading. Because let's face it, institutional investors are momentum players still. They oh, dress not, it up better. And to, no? to be clear, so, I am not talking about restricting people from trading at right. all. I'm talking right. about when you have platforms that are not, I'm not talking about restricting, but are encouraging, gamifying mm -hmm. certain types of behavior. It reminds me of what we had 15 years ago, where there were people pushing exotic mortgages, perhaps on right. a public that was not suited for those particular structures. No, I think that, that when people trade, I think they have to remember a reality that's been true for, in investing for as long as investing has been around. More activity almost always hurts you. So when you have platforms like this that encourage you to be more active, to trade more, the end game is, in a sense, already pre-written. You're going to end up losing this game. So from that perspective, I don't think it's a good idea to be encouraging people to trade constantly because there is no way you can win that game, especially when you're trading against people who have better resources than you do. You've got to pick your game, and this is not a game you can win. Now, the question is, that cat's out of the bag. You can't put it back. What is it that will teach people that lesson? And unfortunately, the only way people learn is through pain. No, the pain <laughs> comes from having a correction, from losing your money. And it's, it's, in this case, it's going to be money that you can't afford to lose. Tuition money, mortgage money, money you shouldn't be playing with. And I think, unfortunately, that's the only way people learn because, you know, we can tell them, we can lecture them, but it sounds like you're telling them not to do things that other people are doing, and it's not going to work. So that's the unfortunate truth is pain is the only real long-term teacher of that lesson, and that's going to play out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC.
on YouTube.